Welcome to this video. You'll see if you update today. And this is LightM and this is Italy. Then Super C by Conky. Don't show this thing. Let me teach you because that's Arkelings, right? Teaching. We have all these configs where our backups of our config. So if we update something, if we make um if you type scale basically, right? For example, you have backups. So let's get rid of those. If you install something from the ATT, the Arch Link Suite tool, it also makes a backup. So you never lost, you never lose anything. But right, let's start from scratch. Everything available. And teach you that there is bash, bash as a bash RC, ZSH, and as you know I've just made a video about fish that's gonna be here three shells right and that's why the changes if let's see control t i'm on fish since i made a tutorial uh, lately about fish right so i'll go to fish then but all the three the other guys and uh, three of them have the same text in them and it says control find scale something changed to our scale Scale used to look like this in fish, and I think I'd be better open also bash because it looks totally different, right? Control find scale, it was a one liner. If the directory config does not exist, make it. Then copy paste everything from config to a backup with a date and time. And then finally, this is backup, so this is all, all fail safes, and this is the only command we need. Copy paste everything from etc scale to home directory. Now I want you to learn the word backup scale. You see, backup scale. It's gonna make a copy of the etc scale to your home directory. All right, what's the reasoning behind it? Learning. If I do it like this, maybe that's big enough. Control T. I do this up there and I type the letters backup scale. It's gonna make whatever is available right now at this point in time. So I better use open new tab, for example. Then you've seen that as well. File system etc scale. This is what's before the update. There is an urgent update down here, right? It's red. This is before the update. And often, not always, often, we change things in, in here. For our next ISO, with, uh, we, when you do a clean install, that all that will go in the future directory of uh, the user. So it will get in here, the update. So backup scale is going to make a copy of this and it's going to be in here. This is prior the update. Now we update. And these are all the changes. This is not mine, right? Xorg, not mine at all. But these are my changes. And you'll see one more. I have to, had to think about that. Let's just let him do his job here. There is one more. Of course, I've been developing on this thing. So sudo pacman minus s. You'll see Arconix system config dev is here. This is the one you'll see, the normal one, right? That will get the update as well. And suddenly, well, that's the point of the video. Scale is no longer an alias. It's a script. Okay. When I do a backup scale again, before update, after update, I often joke, and before you go to the, uh, let you cut your hair, then and afterwards, picture before, a picture afterwards, is basically what I've done. And what you do is right mouse click and you compare. There he is. You don't want to see what's the same. You're interested, what did Eric change? Aha, let's have a look. I've changed all of that, that's gone. It's gonna be text, rubbish, right? It's not here. This is just text. Fish will not do anything with it. So that's changed. 
what else has changed? Skell alias has been replaced. Again, the explanation that there is no alias anymore and we have and, uh, changed it with the Skell script somewhere on our system. And it says the pathway. Same here, Skell alias has been replaced. So basically, and that's the point, right? Everything is still the same until you do something. This one has not changed. Control find scale. It did not change. It's in the ETC scale where the change took place. And now we're back to other interesting stuff. <laughs> These guys, copy shell configs. There's so many easy ways of doing things and if only, right? If only I knew. That's this. Copy the bash RC from ETC scale to mine. And the deal is always is always has been if you have personal stuff you create a personal folder uh, so, sorry a personal file right you copy and you paste and you call this one personal and here is everything uh, all the, the the changes you want to have the extras you want to have if you don't like update and you want to call it up whatever right then it's going to be a new alias for you and you put them here the same for zshrc personal and the same for fish so this gets overwritten anytime don't put your stuff here put your stuff there okay now if we right this is badge rc it's still open if we do our little command and I would do all three of them. Copy bash. Copy it. This happens. And only this, right? Only this has changed. Bash or C has changed. And now we have the other guy. ZSH. It's not open, but it's copy pasted over. And CF is copy pasted over. And that's it. And now, of course, why and how and what? Scale is interesting. It's super interesting. We love scale but we also hear that you hate scale and it is a love and hate for sure but remember there are always backups there are always backups so here it is an information these are all the topics people ask all the time so go read it first scale so this is where i will point you to and this is what it will entail if we type scale Scale is now a bash script and no longer an alias. It makes it easy to get the new configurations in. New configurations often end up in the folder etc scale. Awesome, for example, Qtile. All the tiling winner managers, they have, yeah, they need the code, otherwise they don't work. But it's gonna be in the etc scale and not in yours. We won't override it. It's your home directory, but if you run scale, you give us the permission to override. Let's keep reading. New configuration often end up in the folder it's a scale where it will not be used. A very important word where it will not be used. If we want to use a new config, we need to copy the configs from it's a scale to our home directory. Tilt. You can do this by manually copy pasting. Sure, right? If I say, okay, let's have a look what changed etc and then scale. And for example, I don't know, you go in here and you've heard that something has changed to awesome. You go get it, control C, and you put it in, in your own. Then the only thing you've changed is awesome, control V. But we got tired of this control C, control V, and I had to make all these videos about control C, control V, right? I got tired of that, it's not, not fun. So scale came into existence. Scale will make a backup or your, your .config. Is that true? Right, config. Not yet. Config. All right. To a folder with the name .config and a date and a time. It will overwrite your settings and that is its purpose. One of the things, and remember we are a learning distribution, right, is you venture your way in tiling window managers and then you break it 
and you're stuck on SEDM or LightEM and you can't enter anymore because you broke the desktop. You can always go to a terminal, TTY, Control Alt F2, F3, F4, or on VirtualBox, eh, right Control F2, F3, and then say SCAL. And SCAL will save you. It will help you if you have a crashing tiling window manager because you were learning to configure it, you can gain control again by typing SCAL. And that's the link I've just shown you, the, uh, the article here. Can we copy paste the content from ETC SCAL to your home directory? Uh -huh. It's you who says yes. That's it. That's done. Here's your backup. So if you say, oh my God, I was working on Polywar and here it is. Right, whatever you were working on, here's your copy. And of course, you can, you know the tools, right mouse click, melt, and you can put them back. So, oh my God, this was something I changed. You just arrow up and it's gone, it's back again, right? You just go down the list and say, okay, what changed, what's different? For instance, somewhere in here, some changes in the polybar. Voila, you've got it back. All right, so the scale has changed, help each other to, um, to this video actually, right? And then everything will be just fine and um, enjoy. Cheers.